me a little bit about um, the, the, the COVID-19 neuroimmune uh, immunology uh, consortium and who was first involved and, and what was the driving need behind this research group? You know, as you know, New York, uh, you know, became the, the epicenter um, of, the, uh, of the COVID pandemic in the U.S. And um, really all, um, you know, all of us, uh, all, all physicians taking care of people with MS and related conditions um, really um, bombarded with, with uh, a lot of questions, good questions um, regarding what to do, um, what to do with, uh, you know, with medications, whether there are specific risks um, with regards to MS um, from the standpoint of COVID. And, um, you know, are there, are there uh, risks of, um, of, of worsening MS symptoms? Are there worse risk of, of worsening relapses if, if somebody were to get COVID? Um, does, uh, you know, does having MS uh, mean, mean someone is at a higher risk for, for, for a life-threatening COVID infection? Um, and, and then one of the big ones is do certain medications and, you know, sort of impact the ability to, to, to clear the virus, to deal with the virus. And so um, really at the, at the time, at the height of the, uh, of, of, the, um, uh, of the surge in, in New York, um, we really had no, no, no data on how to guide us. And, and, you know, each of us sort of had our own opinions really of, of what, what, what to do. Each facility sort of has, um, you know, the, the develop their own their own way of doing things, their own guidelines, so to speak. Um, but we recognize that there was a, a you know lack of data, um, as you mentioned. There was a huge need for 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 information. Um, so that's where you know that that that's um, uh, where the um, uh, the New York uh, COVID uh, Neuroimmunology Consortium came out from. This sort of this ability to uh, this this need really to to um, uh, 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 provide the you know care to to, to our patients um, and to um, and, and to provide information to our patients how best they counsel them and um, there is a, a close uh, close community in, in, in New York of um, of, of people who uh, who are neurologists taking care of, of MS uh, 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 patients and and people with various other related conditions and um, we all know each other pretty well and so you know we started discussing sort of anecdotes and whatnot and realized that really we should put something together. And, and um, so this collaboration is really between several institutions, um, Sylvia Kleinova um, over at, um, at the CGD uh, MS Center at Mount Sinai. There's um, Rebecca Strauss-Farber uh, over at um, Columbia uh, Presbyterian MS Center. Um, Lana zoftis Ryerson is at, uh, is at NYU Medical Center. Um, the MS Center over there, and um, Tracy DeAngelis um, out of uh, Neurological Associates of Long Island, um, and then and then me at um, at Northwell uh, Atlantic Hill Hospital. Um, so you know, part of this, you know, as 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 part of this consortium, we 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 just um, you know we started an observational study. Um, really, the, the the primary aim, the primary goal of the study was to determine if um, uh, re really what the risk of of a of um, COVID infection was in people with MS and are people with MS at higher risk for, for, for developing a, a, a bad infection. Um, and then on top of that, to really, you know, get at the question of, okay, are there certain risk factors that put people um, at, at, at uh, higher, higher chances of developing a, a life-threatening infection? Um, so we looked at, uh, you know, risk factors such as what's been seen in the general population. So age, gender, uh, socioeconomic status, um, but then specific ones looking, looking at, um, you know, specific ones for MS, such as um, disease severity, um, uh, use of certain medications, um, MS subtypes. Um, and we looked at roughly in, in our, in our um, cohort, there were roughly about 350 patients with MS. Um, and related some some other related conditions who developed COVID, um, and and we included people who were either highly suspected of of having had COVID or or people who were confirmed with, with PCR. The reason why we did that obviously is because at the height of the pandemic, it was really it was really um, uh, almost impossible to get a to to, to get a, a COVID test. Now it's a little different. Um, and the take home point, the, the reassuring thing is that the vast majority of people with, with MS uh, and related conditions, the vast majority of people in our cohort stayed home and had a relatively mild course. And that was about 86% um, of individuals and, and the mortality rate was about 4% overall. So 
um, our, um, our, our models show that the biggest predictor of hospitalization um, was, um, was, was uh, disability scale, uh, was, was disability status. And um, that was followed by, by age and obesity, which are sort of uh, known um, general risk factors.